Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to talk about solutions to linear systems. So here we have a typical linear system, two equations and actually three unknowns, x1, x2, x3. So the augmented matrix that corresponds to this linear system will look something like this, where each number in the matrix corresponds to the coefficient in front of each of the variables. Now, there is no x2 in the first equation, so that's why there is a zero in the x2 position. To make it maybe more clear, let me write down the variables that each column corresponds to. And in an augmented matrix, the last column corresponds to the constant terms in the equation. Now, this matrix is already in reduced row echelon form. Now, how can we write down the set of solutions to this system of linear equations? Now, this system has two equations and three unknowns. So geometrically, we can think of this as two intersecting planes. And when planes intersect, they intersect at a line. So we would actually have infinitely many solutions to this equation. So how can we write it down? Working from the equation end, what we can do is something like this, where for different values for x3, it would give us different values of x1 and x2. Now, how can we get to this from looking at the augmented matrix? Well, we have our pivot columns. And the pivot columns are the columns with just ones and zeros, correspond to what are called basic variables. And the non-pivot column corresponds to what's called a free variable. So here, x1 and x2 are basic variables and x3 is a free variable. When this happens, we can write down the solution as the following. The fact that x3 is a free variable tells us that we should solve our equations in terms of the free variable. And so this would describe a set of solutions to this linear equation.